Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. I have got uh, three fantastic um, countries um, that are going to be the latest upcoming travel destinations 2021 part five so let's jump right into it now starting off with cyprus the paphos paphos side and it's called the alfred date hills excuse my pronunciation and um, it's uh, basically set in the gorgeous sun-soaked pathos this is a real a really stylish re retreat ideal for those people that um, are looking for everything all in one place and um, you've got uh, five star hospitality tranquil beaches a spa and a, a award-winning golf course means that uh, you can spend your hours relaxing or recharging as well as getting uh, stuck into some daily activities there's also an incredible kids club uh, to keep the young ones entertained while you enjoy some much needed time to recuperate um, you've got uh, your own private pool even wow it really does look uh, luxurious and um, in the evening you can uh, come together as a family for alfresco dining as uh, you gaze into the sunset bliss wow it seems absolutely gorgeous i'm um, on the photos and um number two is uh, croatia the istria riviera the winding hilltop of the town moto Bon, excuse my pronunciation again experience the the croatia that's it's basically not in the travel guides um this is a heart-shaped peninsula promotes the local way of life away from the tourist laden pockets of the country um you can also venture further than the coastline that is and um, the foodie heart of croatia is alive and well here with uh, white truffles fresh seafood and award-winning wines wow featuring on the menu hilltop villages are surrounded by beautiful countryside and a national park are great for walking or uh, cycling um i've been to croatia and the croatian riviera myself i went to a town called porak or its name was uh, porridge um and it was an absolutely beautiful town stunning beaches the houses and shops um for what i can remember and the hotels were absolutely amazing and i really enjoyed myself and i um was only eight when i went there and uh, my brother was uh, five going on six and it was absolutely a brilliant holiday um we in the hotel crystal we even had free swimming lessons in with the price um and fantastic entertainment um, and again i really would recommend croatia um especially if you are looking for something different and um in europe and um, it's absolute a beautiful place moving on now is um kos a greek island 
um, an island of historic treasures, a lively cost town centre and wild scenery. Kos is a way more than just fine sandy beaches and electric blue water. It does boast rich history and you can see lots of monuments and castles. So again, there's lots to do and it does look like a really beautiful island. I would, if I went back to Greece again, I would love to go to Kos and experience the resorts and see Kos town for itself because it looks absolutely stunning. I've been to quite a few Greek islands such as Crete, Rose, Sikinthos, Corfu um, and uh, they're, they're amazing, um, they really are, the scenery is absolutely wonderful and um, I would say especially Corfu because it's the, the greenest um, of the Greek islands um, so those are again up and coming um, destinations um, in 2021 and that is according to www.olivertravels.com um, I would like to say uh, please uh, click the subscribe button um, it's the red and white subscribe button also click the notification bell I upload at at least uh, four to six times a week at the moment I'm uploading five times um, and thank you for watching the next vlog um, is going to be tomorrow and it's going to be um, my channel updates both for my lifestyle and travel channel so please keep watching i love you all you all mean the world to me and uh, bye for now and i'll see you at eight o'clock tomorrow night um, after finished work so thank you bye for now thank you